It's called to the bullpen, where the Cubs deliver the advice you never knew you needed until now. Let's go to the pen, where Kyle Schwarber and Ian Happ are warmed up. We're back. We're back. Morgan helps more people. I can't wait. I think we did a pretty good job last year. Let's do it. Let's get to the first question. Here we go. <laughs> Bullpen. Hello. I fly a lot internationally for work. As a way of relaxing on a long flight, I like to recline my seat back to stretch out a bit. But sometimes the person sitting behind will kick my seat and tell me I'm being rude. Who's in the wrong here? I think he's going to do it every time we I get a question. Wait. <laughs> this is tough. Yeah, that is a... Uh, you know what I would do? <laughs> I would just push the button, just keep going back. That's what <laughs> Over and yeah. over. Yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> you know, a hot move is to wait to like peak, and if the person behind you is asleep, then you just sneak it back real quick. <laughs> like an inch at a time. Totally noticing yeah. it. <laughs> How about this? Any trip over four hours, recline is fine. I'd give it two. Two? Yeah. I wish the airline would innovate. I wish they would find a way to recline it in the same space. Just like use the same space. Airlines, go do it. Go figure it out. You guys got it. This guy's fantastic. I'm getting right fed up when I jump in the shower. The rest of the family think it's okay to nip into the bathroom and use the loo. Why can't they wait? I've mentioned it, but they just laugh at me. What would you do? Thank you again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Great form. Uh, I have more questions. Okay. They're showering. Showering. And then someone is using the, the toilet. Yes, the loo. In the loo, as it was referred to, in the same bathroom. Okay. I would be very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Even if it's family, I mean, give me some privacy. I need to shower in peace. Maybe if it's a number one, I I'm cool. Well, it's it. definitely not a number two. I mean, <laughs> clean it up. I mean, if you're taking a number two, that's not okay. Then you got to get out. It's definitely not okay, yeah. but. I I'm a quick shower guy. So if you can't wait until I'm out of the shower, we got issues. Now, if the person asking a question, if you're taking a 30 minute shower, it's on you. Yes, but what happens, say, you just got home from rush hour traffic, that person's taking a shower, and now you gotta use wow. the, now you gotta take a number one really bad. What's gonna happen? I gotta pee. If I don't know what to do. If you, extreme circumstance. <laughs> That's an extreme circumstance, and I'd be okay with it. All but right. no number two. <laughs> no number no. twos, for sure. Bullpen. Hey guys, my wife thinks it's a great idea for kids to learn the value of money by getting a part-time job. But I think kids should stay young and free, as they have plenty of time to be grown-ups. What do you think? Tell them to get a job? Or have fun? Go ahead Ian, I want to hear yeah. your thoughts. Well what I would say, like when I was a kid, my part-time job, which wasn't really a part, was like mowing lawns. Yep. I think that's a good one where you can do, it just takes like an hour a week. You can make a little bit of money, and then you're still free. I'm a big compromise guy, and I think that's what you should do in your relationship as well. What do you think, Kyle? <laughs> well, Ian, I'm a big believer in working, you know, but then also having fun. Like, yeah. It's not like you know cutting grass, it takes an hour, and then you can still do whatever you want to do. Yeah. But also, like when I was in high school, I worked a part-time job at a fast food restaurant. Yeah. So, I mean, and you still and I still a had a time great a time. But I guess it's not our choice, it's up yeah. to the parents. I always say compromise. Yes, it's a compromise. So maybe you guys can meet in the middle. I think yeah. we figured it out. I think so too. Smithers, what do you think? Bullpen. Hello guys. I was hoping you could help me with a problem. Everyone tells me I'm really bad about answering text messages, but I'm also trying to avoid being glued to my phone all the time. How often should I check my phone to stay on top of things, but not let it take over my life? What a conundrum. It's so, it's so hard because now we're in a day of technology where everything's on your phone, your email, your Constant YouTube, content. your Netflix and chill, things like that. It's always on your phone. Exactly right. You know, like, 
I think we just need to go back to flip phones. Or phone booths. Phone booths. Great. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Fix that one. Bullpen. Greetings, cubbies. I love a round of golf, and one of my biggest pet peeves is when the group golfing behind me is constantly butting up to us and putting pressure on us to finish the hole. I've paid to play this course, and I can go at my own speed, surely. Am I in the wrong? I hate this person. I hate you. One, I don't like putting pressure on the group ahead of me, but if there's open space past you, if you aren't keeping up with the group ahead of you, yeah. then it's your fault. You're playing too slow. Slow play is the devil. I agree with the part that you paid the play, but That's so fair. did the people behind you and maybe they gotta get somewhere. So I mean, if you're, if you're being slow, you should also be courteous to the people behind you. That's exactly They'll right. let them play through and then there might be space where you get more time to go at your own speed. Well, I think we did a good job. Yeah, right? I think we did too. Yep, this was fun. If you ever need help in the future, make a call to the bullpen.